Well, good morning, guys. Welcome back to Poor Boy's Little Homestead. As always, if this is your first time here, thanks for dropping in. Feel free to drop in anytime you feel, my friend. <music> guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to swap out the switch that engages your electric clutch it turns your blades on now we swapping this out this is my bad boy elite series lawnmower and if you want to have been following along with me you just seen the video where I changed the hydraulic fluid and in the next video I changed the pulleys and the bearings in the deck and put new belts on well my switch here is not out but sometimes you got to pull it up and it won't engage and you push it down and you pull it back up again and it engage. So I went on and ordered me a new switch. And I'm going to show y'all how you swap this out and it's pretty simple. But after I get it out, I'm actually going to show y'all how you can test in case your deck ever stops engaging and this will work with any line more how you can actually check your switch to make sure it's your switch before you order one to make sure it ain't something else wrong or your electric clutch went out itself. But first we just gonna remove these four screws on this cover and pull the cover up and I'm gonna get y'all up here close where you can see and we're gonna swap this switch out and then we'll get over there and I'll show y'all how to test this switch to see if it's good or bad. Now mine is going to test good unless it happens to hit that spot. But I'll explain that when I get over there. But first we're going to remove these four screws right here. And when this line more was new, all four of these screws was Allen head screws. But while I was off working, I come home one day and these two screws here done vibrated out while my wife was using the line more so I had to put two other screws and they're just straight head screws and like I said this is the same as it is on any line more as far as the switch and how it works on your electric engaging clutch that I know of anyway. We don't have much slack to raise this panel up here. But on the bottom of this switch here, it just got a plug that plugs in. But you just grab it and you work it off just like that. Now your switch right here, it's got some little ears on it. You got to try to push all four of them ears in at one time to get that switch to pop up through that hole. And just like any of the rest, it can be contrary sometimes. Anything to do with mechanical work can be contrary. Some might say these are female tractors as contrary as they want to be. I didn't just say that, did I, guys? I apologize for my women viewer out there. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> but you can see I got the front there done. And you keep pressing on the back. It'll eventually come out of there once you get them tabs started up through that hole. There it comes. You can see them tabs right there, there's four of them, and you got to get them all pressed down. And an old switch like this done got dirt and all behind it, don't want to push down tight. So now we've been to, this other plug just pushes right back in the hole. You just give it a good shove and it'll snap right in place. But it's going to take a harder shove than what I just did. I'm going 
I'm gonna go on and plug it up. Set that down. And then I can push down on top of it just like that. Now we're going to put our little four screws back in. Alright guys, we got her installed. And you can see this switch I ordered here. The knob on it ain't as big as round as the one that come on this, but that ain't going to make no difference. But we finna fire up just to make sure my new switch is working. That seemed to, to be working. Now we're going to get over here, guys, and we're going to show y'all how you test these switches. That way you'll for sure know if yours totally don't work at all, you'll know if it's your switch gone bad or, like I said, the clutch is done gone out on you. Now, in the description below this video will be an Amazon link where you can buy this new switch and I got it right there straight off Amazon because I like their prime two-day shipping where I can get my parts quick when I need things. Because where I live, I'd have to drive an hour to an hour and a half to try to find any kind of parts like this. And so I just order everything. But let's get over here and we how to test this switch here. Now guys, you can see on these switches, And it don't matter how many prongs your lawnmower has. The one for this particular lawnmower you see has got eight prongs. And the reason for that is, I know of two things it does. One, it engages and disengages your electric clutch to your belt. And one of them is going to be, one row is going to be it. That's the safety, so when the blades engage, you can't crank the lawnmower. It has to be disengaged, so that's the safety. And the third one, I really ain't sure what it does. But I just got a cheap tester here. And I'm going to turn it down here to what I call resistance. And I ain't going to tell you that's the proper name for this because all the writing's rubbed off of mine. But when you turn it to a setting, try to prop this gauge up here with something where y'all can see it. But when you turn it to that setting down here on the bottom, I'm calling it resistance, and you touch your positive and your negative, you see the number. It starts out, it's just on one. But when I touch them, it'll go and it makes three zeros. That means it's making contact. All right, guys, on your switch right here, you got your rows going down three rows on top, and I'm calling it the top. That's the side facing up right now, the way I'm holding it. Then you got three in the middle and two on the back side. So it may not be this particular row, but this is how you check your blade, your switch. When your switch is in so-called off position, and you touch it to the other side, you see the numbers on that gauge move. What that means is both sides of these is hot. If it has a hot wire hooked to here, it's got a, it's hot right there. Same thing on the middle one. Now, which one of these works the blade and which one works the safety feature, I don't know. But that's when your gauge is, your switch is disengaged. But when you pull it to say engage your blade, you check them same too. You see my numbers ain't moving. What it did, it made that contact to that middle one. Now to send fire to that electric clutch. Our example is to send fire 
to your safety switch it keeps you from firing it up and like I said this one has a third but I really don't know what the third feature is on this. It's probably another safety switch on this lawnmower or something or other. But the main purpose of this is to turn your deck mower on and off your electric clutch to your mower. So again, you can see when I'm touching the middle, it, that means it's making contact. When I turn the switch off, the middle ain't making contact no more. It throws it back to the side. So if you got your switch out and your lawnmower ain't engaging the blades when you're turning your switch on and off and you get it out and you you check this right here. And then you pull your switch up and you touch that same one and it still showed that you had fire there or vice versa. It didn't have fire when it was down. And you checked it again and it don't have fire while you pull it up. That means your gauge ain't making contact. And like I said, my gauge is still working. But what has happened is it's done got worn in the middle. Sometimes I pull it up and you see right then. It'll come up to right there. And then you got to work it and make it come on up. And then sometimes you'll be mowing and it'll vibrate and it'll fall back down. It's done lost its little whatever. I'm on. I call it like it's a little notch or something in it that holds it up. Well, I can be mowing and then sometimes you'll hit a bump and it'll fall back down. So my switch is still working. It just ain't holding position. Or sometimes you pull it up and it ain't making full contact. And you push it back down and pull it back up and it'll make contact again. But I'm hoping I'm explaining that right because I ain't got the proper terminology for all this electrical work. But I can tell you right now, when it's making contact on one side, just like you see the numbers here, with the, you hold it on the middle, ain't nothing happening. You pull that switch, something is making contact. That's how you would check your switch. Same thing on a toggle switch. Just say if you got a toggle switch and it's only got two bars on it. Well, a toggle switch, if it's only got two bars, it'd be like this one and this one. Well, of course, when it's in off position, you ain't got nothing. When you flip it on, you got something. Same thing with a light switch on the house. All right, guys. I know that I may have been confusing with some of y'all with the lawnmower switch because it has all them ends on it. But what it mounts to is just like the light switch. This is a brand new light switch. You're going to have a hot wire coming in and then the wire going from here going to your light. If you touch both of them sides, you see ain't nothing happening on my resistance meter you flip the light switch on what happened it shot fire across here it made them connect so this would be the same thing if you testing out a light switch and you touch your negative pole and your positive pole to either side it don't matter which one you do it just testing it because you ain't got electricity on it and you flipping that switch and ain't nothing happening on that meter that means your switch is done gone bad in the inside. It ain't making contact when you're flipping it. So I hope that explains it a little better since it's just two poles. Like I said, the lawnmower has more poles because it has safety features. It has a safety feature so you can't fire it when the blade's engaged. And I'm assuming that in there is probably another safety feature. I ain't sure. And it could just be on there not doing nothing. But one of them's gonna send you fire to you. But one one end's gonna send fire to your electric clutch that engages your blade, and other's gonna be your safety feature, or vice versa. But that's how that works. Now, guys, some of you may be wondering, okay, well, what goes bad inside that switch? Well, actually, if this switch was no good at all, 
I was going to cut the side out and show y'all. But since this switch is still working, I'm going to keep it because if this one totally quits on me, I know I can put this one back in there and it may not hold this position, but I can get my yard mowed. But what it is inside them switches, just picture my two fingers. Contacts is spread it apart. When you pull the switch up, it closes. Now lots of things can go on there. It's just like points. I know some of you older people watching my video remember points on a vehicle. They made contact. They sit there just like this. As your engine turned, your rotary turned, they made a contact and that sent fire to each piston. Well, these here are the same thing. When you pull that switch, it closes. When you push it, it opens. But after it's open and closed so many times, there can be corrosion on them little end tips. There could be dirt in there. It could be just done made spark and kind of glazed over. Cause back in the day, you could take a piece of emery cloth and you could file your points and they'd get right back to working and keep going, your truck keep going down the road. And if these here was made where you could just open them up, you could file them contact points on it. And that's probably all you would have to do. But when you pull the switch, it closes, makes contact. When you push the switch back down, it spreads it back apart, breaks the contact. That's your electricity going from your battery to your electric clutch. And that's that's pretty much as simple as I can put it on how it works. But also, if you checked your switch, and your switch is still good, but yet your clutch ain't engaging, the first thing I would do before I went and bought a new clutch is the plug that plugs into this switch. I would take a tester, just like we was just using, or you can use a 12-volt testing light, and I would check the wire coming to this switch to make sure it is getting fire to that switch. Something could have done happen between this plug that plugs on here and the battery. It may have a fuse somewhere that's blown. It could just be a wire broke, but you want to make sure you're getting fire to this switch. Then if you've got fire coming to this switch and you test your switch and it's still good, then you want to check the wire going from this switch down to your electric clutch you get under there with a testing light and same thing just like when you testing testing this switch a while ago you pull that switch and it turns the fire on you ought to be getting fire down there where it plugs into your clutch if you are getting fire at that plug then then i would say it's probably your electric clutch but don't go buy no 300 or 350 dollar clutch before you test this switch and test them, make sure you're getting fire down there. Cause a lot of times, it's this little $25, I don't remember, I think you can get them from 20 to 30, I think the one I ordered was around $28. Switch. But anyway guys, I hope this helps someone out. Maybe you didn't understand how this works, or now you can see how simple that is and not go pay a mechanic $150 to do what I just did in five minutes. Order your own switch, test it out, fix your own lawnmower. So I hope this helps somebody out out there in some way, somehow. But if you like these little videos like this, please give me a thumbs up, share my videos. That's the best way you can help me grow in my YouTube channel. I hope y'all have a great day. God bless. See y'all next time.